When I was a kid, I used to watch the Japanese ninja warrior show Suzuki with my brother. When I watched, all I wanted was to be on the show, to do what they could do. At the time, I couldn't comprehend the strength it took to pull off what they did, to accomplish incredible feats of upper body strength and agility. Years later, after discovering fitness to be one of my greatest passions, I now know exactly what it takes. First, I auditioned. I still didn't know if I had what it took, but I knew how badly I wanted it. And I knew I'd work harder than anyone else, and I'd stop at nothing to achieve it. Then, I stepped on an obstacle course for the very first time. This turned my world around because I finally understood how difficult these almost superhuman feats truly were. But, more important, for the first time, I knew for a fact that I had the ability to make this a reality for myself, to become an American Ninja Warrior. This is the story of what's happened since then, and what the future holds. Hey guys, a bunch of people have been asking whatever happened with American Ninja Warrior, so I just wanted to fill you in on the last several months. I submitted my initial audition video back in early January. A couple weeks after that, I got a call from a guy named Peter, who is the senior casting producer on the show. He personally really liked me and thought I should be on the show, but he doesn't get the final decision and he wanted me to have the best chance possible. So I went to San Antonio and I got to film on an actual obstacle course. It was a ton of fun, I felt like I was really strong on the obstacles, and I sent all that footage to Peter. Peter then forwarded that to the executive producers who got the final say, and over a month passed by and I didn't hear anything. And so then I called up Peter and I asked him what was happening and he said that most likely I didn't make it on the show, but I could still be a course tester. So that's what I got to be this year. I was a course tester for American Ninja Warrior on the San Antonio course. Uh, about a month and a half ago, I went to San Antonio and I filmed on the actual American Ninja Warrior course where people are gonna run and be on TV. The first obstacle I tried is called the TikTok. Both on the actual show and during testing, almost half of the people who attempted failed. So there was a lot of pressure. Since I was testing the course, as soon as I jumped up there, I was looking to an executive down on the ground to give me the cue to get started. And man, as soon as I got on that obstacle, it was just invigorating, being on a real American Ninja Warrior course for the first time, flying through the air. When I made contact with that log, I knew I had this in the bag. The next obstacle is called sky hooks. You have to lache from one hook to the next with a ring. Hit it this time, hit it! Unfortunately, my grip gave out, but if I could do it a second time, I know I would have made it. And the final obstacle I tested is the famous salmon ladder, in which you have to propel your body upward with a kipping pull-up motion. Each tester only got to try a couple of the obstacles, and I was really happy with the ones that I did get to try. The reason I've waited so long to release this footage is because I actually wasn't allowed to release it until the episode aired on TV. Hit it! Hit it! Yeah. One more! Let's go, finish it! And I'm blurring this now because this hasn't been on TV yet, so I'm actually not allowed to show you what happened. But I will have you know that not a single tester made it past this obstacle, myself included. But man, being on the real San Antonio course was such an amazing experience. And that is why I'm wearing this shirt here. I got to meet the casting producer, the executives on the show saw me on the course. So basically guys, I just want to thank you for all the support you've given me, for watching my videos, for saying that you thought I should be on the show. All that's meant so much, and I just want you to know that none of that goes away. The plan now is get stronger, keep training, make it on the show next year. So, let's check out some of the training that I'm doing now.